Welcome back. During the Robert Bates trial, images from inside the courtroom told an important part of the story. Today, 2 works shoe reporter Joe Henke sat down with the woman who captured the trial one paint stroke at a time. Well, for six days of testimony, arguments, and finally a verdict, artist Evelyn Petrosky sat right here. See, courthouse rules don't allow for cameras in a courtroom during a trial, so that's why Petrosky, with her brushes and easel, made this her art studio during the Robert Bates trial. With a dab of paint, Evelyn Petrosky takes to her canvas. I have to try to recreate you know, what a camera can capture in like a nanosecond. Today, she is painting this TV news reporter after a week of capturing the Robert Bates trial. From the packed courtroom gallery, Petrosky froze every witness in time. If they're on the witness box, to me, they're the star. She also focused on the judge, Robert Bates, and the intensity of the lawyers, including Clark Brewster, during his closing arguments. Yesterday, you could tell when he was unhappy or happy. That's what I look for. Unlike other artists who express themselves through their art, Petrosky worked to show the Robert Bates trial more like a journalist without bias. If they get an impression that somebody's guilty, innocent, or right or wrong, it comes through, you know, and that's not my job. You know, mine is just to paint what I see and that's it. So with her ammo holder turned brush holder on her forearm, Petrosky sat through the whole trial, with each picture taking three hours to officially finish. But the jury, the one image she did not capture, is what left an impression on the artist. They did their best, I'm sure. And they were the ones that got chosen by both lawyers to, to be there. And so I, I think, uh, you know, it went, came out the way it was supposed to come out. Now, if you've seen video our photographers capture here at the Tulsa County Courthouse, it all looks the same because at all times, cameras must stay behind this line right here, which is what truly makes Petrosky's courtroom images one of a kind. Reporting from the Tulsa County Courthouse tonight, Joe Henke, two works for you.